Hi, I'm Rudy Maxa. Join me in restaurant tour Daisuke Utagawa as we tour the snowy island of Hokkaido in search of ramen, seafood, yams, and the hardworking people who produce the region's specialties. Daisuke's favorite ramen shop is outside of the city proper. The chef at Osho is a genuine shokunin, Daisuke tells me. Shokunin means artisan or craftsman, but there's a lot more to it. The deeper meaning. This is the owner, and this is his next generation. Oh my goodness, his son. You're both the chefs. They're both the chefs. That's right. All right. Should we have some ramen? I think that's a great idea. Let's go sit over there then. The shokunin feels both a spiritual and social obligation to prepare the food for us. He respects the material. He pays very precise attention to the ingredients. It's a way to respect all the producers, the flour mill workers, noodle makers, the farmer who grows the vegetables for the toppings. They are the unsung heroes of Japanese cuisine. I think oh, I see it coming. Oh, 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 look at that. Ayato, sumimasen. Look at this. Oh, oh my god. This is beautiful. Smell this? Oh my god. Oh, <sighs> it's very, very rich. It's <sighs> oh, yeah. So tell me about this ramen. No, 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 Rudy. Wait, we, we eat first. It's all about you and the bowl of noodles right now. All Just right. be two. It's all right to slurp, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Ramen is one of the few Japanese dishes that's not traditional. Noodles and meat-based broths came from China in the 19th century. And flour to make the noodles came from the U.S. after World War II. The worldwide phenomenon that is ramen started in the 1950s. Ah, konnichiwa. Rudy, this is Mr. Uchiumi. He just went scallop fishing this morning. And was it a good catch? It's the best condition, he said. So eight to 10 hours a day out in the, in the water, oh sometimes goodness. longer, but when the sea is rough, you know, it takes a little longer. Just two of them. Just he and his wife? Yeah. Go out in this yeah. boat every night at like two in the morning in the winter, that's, it could be snowing. That's it. Oh. Yeah. We grill the whole thing. So it's... And it pops open at some point? Yeah, it's very simple. It's, Ooh, look at that. They're beautiful. Look at this. Look at this open up. Look at this. Mm. 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 The king of all scallops. The finest scallop I've ever eaten in my long, long life of eating fish. And the work that they put in to make this is just, it's just incredible. What's going on down here? Well, these are nagaimo, and as you can see, they have to dig this trench to harvest it, because you can't just yank them from the ground. They're over three feet long. Therefore, these trenches are dug, they go down there, and by hand, they dig them out, sort of like archaeological dig. They pull them almost out from the side. Th that's right. And so to harvest this whole field, they've got to dig the trench along every as single row. See, as far as you can see. And he's the man to do it now. Oh, my God. Arigato. Arigato. What is this? All right. See, we have a little fork here. They call it dumplings of Nagaimo. Dumplings. Yeah. Okay. Mmm. This is like dessert. It's a combination of pancake and, and custard. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oligato, that's so nice. Mm. 